as you see. Like this, it's just standing straight around the turns. The front wheels stay square on the ground, but the back wheel leans like a motorcycle. So the front wheel is a quad bike. I'll show you some details. <coughs> and the back is just a Yamaha SRX6 single cylinder, 600 cc kickstart only. And it doesn't work. It's wobbly, it's unstable. I've spent about a year on it. And I'm just going to give up. I'm tired of messing with it. I did what I wanted to do. I'm pretty much out of ideas. And I've got other projects that I want to start working on. So I'm, I'm just happy I finished. Did what I wanted to do. And although it didn't work, it's OK. I'll show you some details now. Huh? As you see, the back end is intact. It's, uh, I haven't done anything to it. The modification starts here, where I've attached this bracket to the chassis. And then there's this hinge here where it turns. Let's see. And this, I don't know if you can make it out or not. Let me just. At first I didn't have these two shock absorbers here, this one and this one, and it was really wobbly, completely unstable. I took it for a ride for about 20 seconds and I almost uh, wiped out. So I brought it back, left it for a few months, then I decided to put these two shock absorbers on it and finished it yesterday, I took it for another ride. It still doesn't work, it's, it's just unstable and acts weird, completely weird around the turns. So the front end, all these pieces are from a quad bike. The wheels are from a quad bike, the tires are, the shock absorber. Um, this I built. All of this is homemade here. And this, this linkage is from a Toyota High Ace steering column. So, <laughs> it looks alright, it looks the part, but no, it doesn't work. And I'm posting this, so if anybody wants to do this kind of trike, where the front is not leaning and the back is leaning, just to watch out, it's, um, unless if you do something different, this design does not work. Good luck with your projects. This is Saeed signing off.